What's going on, guys? Zach Daddy here, and um, today I guess I'm just in the mood to talk. And uh, yeah, yeah. So let me share a little bit of info. Um, for those of you who know me, I've been a gamer since like 1988, 90. Somewhere in that time zone, and uh, or time frame, I should say, and uh, it, it's always been a part of my life. Whether it's you know video games or board games or anything like that, I've always been one of those. I'm I'm a gamer. That's what I am. And uh, you know, as, as things get crazier and crazier, now we're moving into uh, uh, virtual reality, and you know. Once upon a time, they tried that before, and, you know, anybody knows it was the Virtual Boy. And it was cool, but, you know, I still don't know about strapping a device on your head, making it look like you're actually in the game. I'll have to try it. It's just, like, it kind of boggles my mind to think that games are moving in the direction of now you're being physical, not just relaxing. You're not coming home you know, at the end of school or at the end of work and, you know, sitting down and just relaxing. Now it's like, you know, pretty soon these virtual games are going to be mobile virtual games. I mean, we already have the augmented reality or you know, supposed augmented reality with like Pokemon Go. There's a couple of other games out there that use your uh, device's camera to augment reality. And so it's only a matter of time before virtual reality actually is virtual reality where you're walking around with these things strapped to your head and it's just like, really? Like everybody's going to be walking around with this and, you know, I, I don't understand and you know what? That day is going to come and it's going to be crazy, crazy. But with other video game news, you know, we got these new consoles coming out and there's nothing new about them. Like, I think... Xbox went the route of of Apple. And, and you know what? So did PlayStation. But PlayStation has always done it. PlayStation gave us PlayStation, then they gave us, you know, PlayStation 1, and then we got PlayStation 2, and then we got the PlayStation 2 Slim, and then we got the 3, and then the 3 Slim, and now we have the 4, and now the 4 Slim, but they're also adding the Pro. And I'm not happy about the Pro. And I know my hands are going crazy right now, but I'm not happy about the Pro at all. I've been, for consoles, uh, I lost my ways with Nintendo after the GameCube. I was not impressed by the Wii or the Wii U because it went all motion. I know there's games you can play with a controller, and that's what I like. I like the controller. So Nintendo lost my business years ago. Uh, Sega, unfortunately... They had a great product out, and that was the Dreamcast, and that was by far my favorite system from Sega at all times. You know, I can still go back and say I love the Genesis, but I absolutely love the Dreamcast. And now with PlayStation 4 Pro, you know, it makes me go, why am I going to spend $400 on this machine? I already have a PlayStation 4. So you give me a little bit better hard drive, and then you're going to give me HDR capabilities. And so you're just upscaling games to 4K, not true 4K. And on top of that, um, you're giving the developers an option to support 4K or not support 4K. So you're not pushing the boundaries of anything. Nothing anymore. Like... I understand it's it's a system and it doesn't need to be all crazy but at the same time you know if you're going to release this new system you need to start pushing people in the direction that you as a company are going like you know it's your it's your hardware it's your software you're going to do what you want to do at the end of the day but to push out a new system that is not actually ultra HD supports HDR so everything's upscaled to 4K and a slightly different internal upgrade. Why am I going to buy it? It makes absolutely no sense to buy this machine. If I wanted a second one, I'd just go get a different one because I'm not going to spend $400 on it. It doesn't make any sense. I don't... No. No. <laughs> Xbox, they, they went 
they went route with app like Apple has done, and they even stole the S, Xbox One S. They did do an upgrade, but this isn't an upgrade to, you know, base users. Like, I feel that the PlayStation 4 Pro with that name is an upgrade for base users. Like, I have a PlayStation 4, and now I want to upgrade. Let's get the Pro. And that's the next upgrade. That's the way I feel with it. With Xbox, they went a different little... They, yeah, they went a little different route. And they have the Xbox One S, and it's just an upgrade. So if you want it, get it. If you don't want it, you don't need it, don't get it. For those of you that don't have an Xbox, this is be the one to get, and you don't have to wait for the next coming generation, which I feel is way too early for the generation for another generation move. Um, these consoles are meant to last anywhere from six to ten years lifespan, and to me, they just haven't made it long enough. Excuse me, I need. <coughs> they have not made it long enough for these newer consoles to come out and uh it, it just doesn't make any sense you know other than a few internal upgrades you know and trying to bring in more of the market that hasn't bought your product these upgrades are useless but you know i will say that uh with me being a gamer for as long as i have there's one thing that these console companies have pushed me to do and that is be on my computer more and more and uh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving being behind my computer it you know it, to me it's a greater experience I'm not limited to their hardware I'm limited to well my wallet really <laughs> sorry this coughing thing is really really bad right now but yeah so with with pc i'm limited to my com my wallet and you know what my computer can do and i'll tell you e even the most basic computer can run most of the games that i play already most of the games that i play on console i can play on my pc why wouldn't i just stick to my pc then and essentially that's exactly what I'm doing is I'm sticking to my PC uh, PlayStation has done a great job over the years and I think this year is the year that they flopped and this is the year that you know I've just I found myself at my desk and not at my TV plus side to being at my desk I actually get work done and can still play games when but of course you know you guys have noticed uh, for those of you that are watching my gaming videos on my channel, you guys have noticed that I have started posting more gameplay. And uh, specifically out on Wednesdays is uh, World of Warcraft. And God, I dug a rabbit hole with that one. Like, I, I really, like, I saw a rabbit hole and I just dove right in there. And guess what? It's pretty deep. But with that said, I absolutely love Blizzard games. Um, I have played Diablo before. Uh, not really all that much, but I have played it before. I do own the game. Um, but back when I got it, I was very limited on time. I was doing other things, other projects, so my gaming time got cut down. And, uh, you know, that's been the last f three years... I haven't really touched any games. I have not played. So everything that I'm doing now, I'm picking back up. And I'm slowly getting back into it. World of Warcraft is completely new to me. So those of you that watch me and go, Huh? Yeah. Just leave me comments and advice. You know, um, I'm, I'm still learning. And I've got people to help me out. And there's just so much to that game. It, it's crazy. Um, I, I do love me some Hearthstone. Uh, I do want to get into uh, Heroes of the Storm just because I want to give it a shot. And then, of course, there's Overwatch, which I still haven't picked up, but I am, like, really wanting to check it out because it looks really, really fun. And uh, now that I am back on my PC, you know, FPS games are a must on PC. And all this rambling, all this means is 
I'm going to BlizzCon. Virtually. Um, virtually, I'm going to BlizzCon. I just went and picked up my, uh, well, I did just went. I'm at my computer. I just bought it. I just bought my, uh, my, uh, my virtual ticket, and I'll be attending online, uh, because I cannot make it out to Anaheim this year, and hopefully I can within the next year or the year after that, and, uh, That'd be really, really fun experience because, like I said, I do enjoy Blizzard games, and why not just attend one of their conferences? Now, unfortunately, it is online, so I won't get the full, true experience of BlizzCon, and uh, I, I will be watching tons of videos for everybody's content that they're posting that actually go. For those of you that do go, totally jelly. Toots jelly. That sounded really stupid. I'm sorry. I will never say that again. Yeah, I'm really jealous of of, of uh, those that are attending. Uh, and it's not, you know, I'm jealous. I hate you. No, it's I'm jealous because you get to experience something that I do want to experience. But unfortunately, this year, I will not be able to attend. Yeah, but, you know, I'm still getting to go. I just, I'm only going to be watching panels, and that's probably the best part for me right now is because I'm getting back into gaming, so learning more about what they're coming out with and what their plans are and all that great stuff. Very cool. So, yeah, kind of a total random video today, and that is mainly because I just felt like talking um, and sharing a little bit with you of my passion for video games uh, for a very very long time I have been video games and for a very very long time uh, video games have been the center of my world and of course that's changed as I've had a family and I've started you know reaching out more in social acti- I done not social yeah anyways so with you know, the small hiatus I was on for the last couple years of games, I'm bringing more games back into my life, and, you know, I'm embracing, I've gotten to an age to where, you know, it's gotten, all I do is work, and work, and work, and work, and I need more fun. Hence, I'm back on YouTube, I'm back on video games, all in all, this is, for me, very, very fun, very, very enjoyable, my hands are all over the place today, and yeah, so I just keep rambling on and on and on. So with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it quits there. Guys, if you like this video, like button down below, comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.